Hey everyone, I hope you're all okay. So I thought I would do a video on some of my favourite pairs of shoes. Um, I don't really see a lot of videos about these, but then maybe I'm just not searching properly. But I love, as you all know if you've watched my previous videos and if you follow my blog, I love handbags, but I also adore shoes. Um, it's an obsession. When I meet people, one of the first things I do is look at their feet because I just love to check out what kind of shoes they're rocking. Um, so yeah, I thought I put the idea out on Twitter a couple of nights ago, and quite a few people were like, "Yeah, it's a good idea, do a video." So I'd love to. If any of you have done one before, or you're going to do a video on the same kind of thing, like your favourite shoes, then leave me a comment or a link in the box below. I'd love to check them out. So obviously, these aren't all my shoes. Um, I'm a typical girl and got quite a large collection, but I just picked some of my favourites I'm loving at the moment, or I've had for years, and I just treasure and don't know what I'd do without them so I'll start with a pair that are like that I've had them for about a year and I got them from ASOS.com and they're just they're just they're classic but at the same time they're, they're, they're quite fashionable and quirky and I love them and um, this is the little babies so these are obviously fake snake skin effect leather and what drew me to them was not just the print because every year prints come back especially around the summertime the fashion world and the catwalks go crazy for them but what I loved about this shoe as well was the caging design on it I just thought it was quite unusual it keeps your foot in place so it's a lot easier to walk in for me that's an average size heel I've got taller and I've got smaller so but for me that's a good size and I just think they're great I can put them on with a pair of leggings I can put them on with jeans jeggings I can wear them with like quite a girly flowery dress and then put these on to sort of add a bit of toughness to it, rock the outfit up a bit, I just love them. I think ASOS did them in black as well, but I definitely liked the snake skin. I'm not sure if you can see it, but yeah, these are definitely one of my favourite pairs. Um, next I have, these are from Topshop, and I got them a couple of years ago actually, and what drew me to them was the colour as well as the style. They're super girly, a lot different to the ones I just showed you from ASOS. So I'm just tying up the little bow. That gives a clue on how girly they are. It's not a very neat bow, but... So these are my Topshop shoes, and they're like a gorgeous pistachio colour with a vintage cream looking bow. And they're so comfy, they're leather, and they're extremely soft. Um, so they're good old Topshop, as I said. Again, quite a high heel, but for me that's quite an average size. To me that's a good heel, and because it's quite a heavy block, it just makes it a bit easier to walk in. I must admit, I'm not amazing at stilettos. I've got some, but I even just prefer the overall look of a block heel. So these are super pretty. I've worn them to weddings. I've worn them to, you know, nights out, um, restaurants. They're just really girly and pretty. And I wore them a couple of weeks ago, actually, on a girls' night out with some cream vintage-looking lace tights from Miss Selfridge. And they just looked so pretty. Um, so, you know, and bows. Bows on shoes. What more do you want? Um, next ones are, I think a classic most people need, they're just the comfiest thing ever, might not be the prettiest looking thing but they're so comfy, is Ugg, my Ugg Australia boots. So these are the tall ones and grey, and I got these just before Christmas, I have also got like the shorter one to about there, chestnut ones which I've had for a couple of years and I've just worn to death, but I've still got them as they look quite good and... I love having two different colours to rotate. Sometimes I wear them just straight up like that. And then sometimes I like to roll the boot down a bit. And you can see the fur, which can look quite cute with leggings tucked in. I know some people hate these, but worn with the right outfit, they can make, you know, quite a casual outfit look a bit smarter if, you know, if you wear them properly. But they're just so comfy, you just have to have them. Next are some very funky boots that I recently got for my birthday, one of my gifts from my boyfriend. Um, and I never thought I'd be into this brand of shoes, but now I think I could form quite an addiction to them. It is the classic and amazing Doc Martens. And I could, I probably got the girliest Doc Martens you can get. Some of them are too kind of, I don't know, casual for me, a bit too dark, a bit too... I don't know, I just, I just couldn't get away with it. Some people can work the black ones really well, or even like the bright yellow ones, or the bright pink ones, but I just couldn't pull it off. People that could look amazing, so all credit to you. So I got these pretty 
florally ones, which I quite like because I've not really seen anyone with these, so that's kind of cool. And again, they're just lovely to wear with a little dress and just to give a bit of an edge and a bit of a quirk to an outfit, not always ballet pumps or sandals. So I just think they're really cool and they're so comfy. The sole is like a padded sole inside, so when you walk it's a bit like bouncy. I just love them. I think they're quirky. Again, Doc Martens. They're called Air Walk, which is probably why they feel bouncy. So, yeah, they're cool. Then the next ones, again, are from ASOS.com. I do like ASOS for their footwear and accessories. And these are, um, I got these just before the release of the Sex and the City film. Was it last year the first one came out? Or the year before? I lose track. Anyway, I got these before because these are a copy of the Dior Extreme ones, which Carrie Bradshaw wore a lot in the movie in different colours and effects. Black, snake skin, she's got an incredible wardrobe as we all know and I just love them, they're so comfortable and I could have got black which I've got a pair similar but I just love how they're purple and they've got a metallic sheen to them they just really finish an outfit off and with black tights they just look amazing on a night out so I love them and then next we have some shoes I got from New Look ages ago probably about over two years ago but they're just so comfy and so cute these are probably one of the lowest heels I've got but they're just like little dolly shoes, little vintagey looking shoes, and with like little cream tights or even black. I just think they look adorable. They, I call them my dolly shoes, and they're like twenty pound or something like that. New look are really good for cheap shoes, but they look nice at the same time. So they're getting quite worn in now, but I still think they're cute. I can click my feet together, and then I have my. Again, ASOS. I got these for a friend's wedding last year and they're quite outrageous. At the same time, they're very Carrie Bradshaw, who's like my style icon. And they, I've worn them a couple of times since. They're kind of comfy, but then start to pinch at your toes a few hours in. But I got them to go with a dress I wore. They're the perfect colour. And I love the giant corsage. I just love them. You've got that strap, which obviously ties around your ankle. These are quite a killer heel, I must admit, they're tall. But I just love that corsage. And this colour was the kind of colour dress I was wearing. So it matched perfectly. So they're super cute. You can you can imagine carrying them, but hers would probably be about £500. These were about 40 Bit of a difference. And then we have... These are from Faith. And I got these ages ago. Like I'm talking five, six years ago. And I just... I still love them. They were quite weird at the time. A lot of my friends were like, why have you brought them? And now everyone's like, oh, I so wish I'd got them. They're really vintagey looking. And you've got... That's brown leather. You've got the fabric heel. And, like, just with, you know, tights or with jeans, they can just add quite a vintage, old-fashioned look to an outfit. And if I wear one of my big, slouchy brown leather bags, it all ties in really well. But the annoying thing is... The strap on the back falls under your foot quite a lot when you're walking, so you can trip quite easily. So that's not a good one. So I usually wear these when I don't have to do a lot of walking. But I still like them. They're cool. And then I have, last but not least, I love these babies. These are like my precious ones that I could never part with. These are my mulberry boots. And I absolutely adore them. They're actually called the Bayswater Boot. And I actually got these in Bista, which is a designer outlet village in Oxford. And I just love them. They're, I actually got them for a really good price. They were meant to be nearly £400. And I paid around £140 mark, so I was super chuffed. And I love the colour. I've got no boots or shoes this colour. And it's a patent leather. I love the detailing, the mulberry studs, the buckles. It's a nice, heavy block wooden heel, easy to walk in zip with the mulberry motif on down the side nice lining inside just love them and these are never ever ever gonna date and you know I wore them all all to winter last year but at the same time in the summer maybe in the evening I can wear them with like a pretty little flowery dress and it just gives an, another dimension to an outfit it's not so typical to wear you know a lot of people still like to match like red shoes red belt red bag whereas I think it you should be more playful you should mix and match the colors of your clothing your shoes and accessories and these always give a really lovely finishing to an outfit and they're just timeless I love my mulberries so as I said that's only a small part of my collection and um, let me know what ones are your favorites or if you've got any or if you've got any of you know similar ones and you know I love 
I love bag talk and I love shoe talk just as much. So I hope you enjoyed that and um, I'll see you soon. Bye.